Hey, how the heck's it going? I live in Payson, Utah. That's right on I-15 between exit 248 and 250. There are some great burger joints there. And I'm gonna do you guys a favor. I went to four burger places and I'm gonna try each one and I'm gonna let you know which one's the best that are right in my area so that if you're ever traveling this way, you know where to stop. One of my favorite, now you know I'm on a diet, so I'm just gonna have a bite of each one. I'm not gonna go crazy today. But anyway, here's the ever famous Whopper with cheese, no pickles and onions, cost $5.40 at Burger King, of course. Let's try that. Burger King is right next to my high school. So I go here all the time. I love Burger King, man. I don't know why. People can't stand it, but I love it. All right, right there in Salem, which is a little bit east of us in Payson, there's a little joint called Stan's Drive-In. This one costs $5.10. It's called the Stan's Burger. Man, it looks like it has a nice piece of meat. It's got a piece of pastrami. Looks like mushrooms on there. I don't know, I'm gonna give it a try and see what it tastes like. Hmm. That is not a bad burger. I don't know if I care for the lettuce on it too much, but that is a good tasting burger. I'm gonna rank them here in a minute. The next place is called Daily Freeze. The cool thing about Daily Freeze, it costs $8.65, but it comes with fries. Look at this, okay? It's this one. Fries aren't too bad looking. I won't eat those because I'm on my diet, but look at this. This is called the Big Steve Burger. Barbecue sauce, bacon, onion ring, tomatoes. Let's give this a big old bite and try it. I'm gonna tell you what, I don't like onions, but I like onion rings. Man, that is a good burger. The Big Steve at Daily Freeze in Payson. It was $8.65, but like I said, you get fries with it. Final one is at Polar Queen in Payson. It costs seven oh two, dollars and you get fries. These are real hand-cut tomato fries. They're better than most of these, okay? But this is a super cheeseburger, one of the most popular burgers. Let's see what it tastes like. Man, that might have the best piece of meat on it, but I'm gonna tell you what, you can't go wrong with any of these burgers. I'd probably have to go for the Big Steve first, probably the Super Cheese, then the Stands, then of course the Whopper. But I still love all four. You're not gonna go wrong if you're traveling up in this area to stop in any of them and have you a nice burger. Until next time, yours in baseball, see ya.